Hi guys, Jacob Dupre here. I'm gonna show you how to change the time signature in FL Studio 20. The first way to do it is to change the time signature for the entire project. You do that by going into Options and going into Project General Settings. And then here you'll see it says Time Settings. Right now it's set to Set as Time Signature, which is a new layout for FL Studio new to FL Studio 20, but you can change it back to set as time division and many of you that have used FL for a while will recognize the look of this. But we're going to keep it to set as time signature and here you have simple numerator denominator and then your time base also. Say I wanted to change it to 7-8. Change it to 7-8 and now you'll see that the project has changed with those settings to whatever I change it to, it will change. Now it's in 3, 4, and now just a quick note, it will not change the pattern. Let's go ahead and put it back to 4, 4 like we had it before. Ha ha ha, that's a good one. And now we're gonna get out of this, and now I'm gonna show you how to change the time signature in the pattern itself. So the way you do that is you have to have a pattern. I've got one recorded, got this drum beat recorded. Very simple. Now if I want to change the time signature just of this pattern, I go to the drop down menu here and I go to time markers and then add time signature change. I want to point out that I'm not using keyboard shortcuts right now because I want to show you where everything is in the menu first, but as you can see next to many of the functions, the shortcut is listed. Also a quick tip, anytime you hover over anything in FL, if it has a shortcut, it will show up in the hint panel. See, it says hint panel right here, and you'll see the shortcut for those functions. So when you first starting FL and you wanna learn those, that's a good way to start. To change the time signature for this pattern, I go to the menu here, go to time markers, and then add time signature change. Then let's say I wanna put it in seven, eight. Change the numerator to seven, the denominator to eight, click accept and now it has changed it. Now you can see my original pattern that I created was in 4-4, so it's now overlapping because I've changed it to 7-8. So if I wanted to fit this into a measure of 7-8, I could delete these extra notes that overlap over the 7-8 bar, and now I have a drum beat in 7-8. Now you'll notice that while we've changed our pattern to 7-8, our arrangement is still in 4-4. So let's change the arrangement to match the time signature of the pattern. It's very similar to how I changed the pattern time signature. You would go here to the drop down menu and go to time markers again and go to add time signature change. And we'll open the same window as before. So let's change it to 7-8 to match the time signature of the pattern. Now the pattern fits perfectly within each measure because the arrangement and the pattern are both in 7-8. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that so I can show you another way to change the time signature. If you look right here next to the name of the pattern, there's a little button that looks like the notes on a piano. When you click on that, it gives you this menu. If I go to Use Current Time Signature From, I have two options. Playlist to Pattern will take the time signature in the playlist and apply it to the pattern and the other one will do vice versa, which is take the pattern time signature and apply it to the playlist. We're gonna use that one because we wanna take the pattern, which is in seven, eight, and we want the playlist to match that time signature. So when I click pattern to playlist, now it has changed the time signature of the arrangement, which you'll see indicated here with this seven, eight, to match the pattern. I can also change the time signature for a specific range of my arrangement. So first, let me add in another pattern to this measure right here, measure three. And now I'm gonna use the select tool to select a specific range, this range here. Now let's say I wanna change that to a measure of four, four. I'll go right back to the same place as before, go to add time signature change, and it's already on four, four. I'll click accept, and now it has changed just this range to a measure of four, four and I can drag around these time signature changes anywhere I'd like to in the arrangement. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks so much for watching.